Now to welcome back to the Harvey Norman Lounge, editor of Beauty EQ, Trudy Brewer, who's here to tell us why bees are all the rage when it comes to being beautiful. <laughs> Wow. That's a dad joke right there. Hey, morning, Trudy. Uh, or a buzz. Uh, <laughs> we could go I, on all day. We like could this. go on all day. Hi, Mel. Hi. It's a really common thing, though, to see honey in, in beauty circles right now, mm. isn't it? It's very it's, on trend. It's become that way, and I think we've got celebrities like Gwyneth Paltrow and Kate Middleton to thank for that, really, with their bee venom facials, which we're going to talk about later. Yeah. Um, the thing about honey is that it is an incredible antibacterial and anti-inflammatory ingredient so those are two things that the skin needs to actually thrive and to look its best um, it's incredible for attracting moisture it's a humectant so it pulls moisture from the air and actually if you've got it on your skin it helps retain moisture in the skin so it's great for aging skin and the antibacterial property is brilliant for acne sufferers so you know it, it um, it's got a medicinal um, purpose mm. as well as a real beautifying and hydrating purpose. But obviously there's a lot of other things rather than just the honey yeah, there is. related to the bees that are in the uh, beauty industry at the moment. Let's talk about uh, bee venom, honey, royal jelly and pollen all used. All used. Let's go into those in a little bit more depth, shall we? Um, bee venom, what do you actually use that for? Well, what is it? bee venom is used um, in facials um, and in creams and face creams and it's a potent protein so it really helps boost collagen levels in the skin. Um, it also is an anti-coagulant, anti -coagulant, so it's great for anyone who suffers redness or anything like that. And it's, it's very purifying on the skin too. Um, and then the royal jelly, again, is really great for restoring the skin's collagen levels and boosting collagen. And actually just the clarity that skin needs as, as you get older, it's very, very good for that as well. Royal jelly, I always remember that story. Do you remember that royal dal story yeah. when they give it to the baby yeah. and the baby turns into a bee at the end? That was a really cool story. But that's been around for a while, hasn't it? All of this has been around for a while and I think why honey is so fashionable again is because of the technology now that's used to extract the goodness from it. Mm -hmm. um, raw honey is, is full of goodness and we talked about that earlier. So the technology is available to the beauty industry now to actually harvest the best from honey to use in products is why it's become fashionable again. And you'll see other ingredients popping up. Charcoal is another one that's become this latest mm. buzz. Coconut, um, there's going to be a lot more coconut products around soon too. Pollen, can you use that in there as well? Pollen extract, again, just healing, um, rejuvenating, clarifying. Um, and they're all extracted, usually um, distilled, water distilled. The goodness is extracted yeah. out of it, and that juice is used in creams and body lotions. And so who would actually benefit from using the honey products? Anyone can. I mean, that's the thing. At this time of the year, skin is dehydrated generally mm. so anyone that's got a dehydrated skin anyone with an acne skin um, anyone who's concerned about aging anyone who has um, inflammatory or skin that's sensitive it's great for calming sensitivity mm. so it depends on the product you choose but anyone can use a honey based product what if you are allergic to bees yeah that's not good yeah <laughs> you wouldn't be using uh, any of I these things I wouldn't be using that mm. and nowadays you know every product has a description of what's in it on the okay. back, you know, or on the packaging. And it, I mean, it's like anything if you're allergic to nuts or bees, you really do need to be mindful of right. reading the instructions on the back of the product. So, you've brought some things in today. I brought Let's some things talk about in a today. couple of the. I, key I ones. actually bought three ranges in that I really like. Um, and there are a lot out there, so apologies for people I've forgotten, but there are a lot of products out there. The first one, Burt's Bees, is, is an American brand, but it's a cute story. Burt's Shavitz was a beekeeper and started making honey, uh, started making honey products and selling them at Markets, you know, and a billion dollars later, here we are with wow. uh, Burt's Bees. Okay. Um, a brilliant, brilliant brand. It's got colour, it's got um, lipsticks, um, moisturisers, mm -hmm. foundations. The um, honey body lotion is to die for, and I've got, I want you to keep these and try them. Um, and a great little honey lip balm, you know, at this time of the year, dry lips, fantastic. It it's tastes delicious. It's great, great price point too. Okay, so that's a good one. What about the other um, The team? second oh. one is a new product from Kiehl's, and um, this again is an American brand, but they've used New Zealand Manuka honey in this, Beaver, um, this Pure Vitality. Which is the best, isn't it? Absolutely mm. the best, world class. Um, so this is another great product. And the thing I love about the Kiehl's Pure Vitality is it's day and night cream. So for women who are busy, you don't have to have two separate creams. Obviously, you good. would use a sunscreen over the top of that. Right. And then a homegrown brand, um, Manuka Doctors, um, Chloe Kardashian. Kardashian is the face of this brand. Oh wow! Okay. For the, the Crystal Drops um, cashmere brand. Um, again, this is a brilliant cream. You know, just for women who are really suffering with, you know, dryness, um, discoloration on their face, brown spots. Pretty again. much everything. Yeah. Fantastic, Trudy. Thank yeah. you so much. Thank you for bringing oh, these beautiful products and enlightening us on bees and oh, all things. Thank you.
beautiful. I just used it again. I can't believe that. I hope you enjoy trying them. I will. Thank you. For more of Trudy's tips, head to her website, beautyeq.co.nz.